Hello everybody. We're going to take a look at another satellite loop. This is part of our satellite course. I hope this one is interesting to you because I think, well, it's interesting to me. There's a lot of cool things to look at here. So I want to do it. Let's get started. Okay. So taking a look at this, you can look at it right here. Uh, you can see there's several different things happening that are just really cool. This is a uh, satellite loop starting about noon and lasting into the late afternoon. You can see, obviously, there are some big time storms forming in this satellite loop. There's a couple of things happening. I really just want to spend some time to talk about all these. Uh, and so you can see right here, there's definitely an arc of clouds, right? You can see this right here. I've turned uh, surface obs on. For clarity, uh, this is actually Satsquatch, the app, highly recommended. You should check it out. And you can see here, you've got, uh, you've got winds out of here, out of the southeast, northeast, southeast, northeast. And what this is, this is an outflow boundary. You can see here, uh, you have uh, at noon, uh, very different air. You have 70s, 80s over here, and over here in Amarillo, you got mid 90s, low 90s. So you have this 80, 80s hitting the 90s. This actually is in effect acting as a bit of a, this is gonna end up being a boundary because what you see here too is out of New Mexico, you have really dry air starting to push out. You got 101 over 38, hot and dry air. 103 over 37, 104 over 50 right there. That's a, that's your surface wind. So what has happened here is this right here is an old complex of storms. It is pushing this way and it has thrown a boundary off that is basically here and it's laid across. So when you're making your forecast during the day, uh, satellites already given you, you this satellite plus surface obs combo is giving you everything you need to know on where to forecast. There's a fly flying around. It gives you everything you need to know. Okay. So, because what you know is that for, uh, if you are looking for a chase target, you know, right now that this area is worked over and it's not, it's, it's just a big fat X. That's not going to be your chase target. This area down here, hundreds dry. Even if you can get some moisture, it's not looking so good, right? I mean, you see some clouds right here. This too, big FedEx. But you see this right through here and back down into here. You have 92 over 73, 92 over 72, 88 over 65. This boundary is pushing west like this and this dryer is pushing east like this so you know that you're gonna have a meeting point we'll just keep it right there somewhere in here that's gonna be your meeting point so you know this right here oh no uh this right here is indeed your chase target so as we move forward let's bring this over I want to bring this up to right about here where you start seeing uh, right here, you start seeing a little bit of cumulus really start forming. There's also some agitation happening down here in the hundreds as well. But you can see this has just continually pushed west. It looks pretty solid. You've got, you, this is warmed up to a good solid 97 degrees over 73 dew point this is 97 over 54 so you know right through here there's a bit of a boundary of sorts because that's a 20 degree drop in your dew point that's that's significant and that's happening you can see a few things start happening right that bit complex keeps going this worked over air never really warms up 82 it's about as high as you can get there but out here out here happening right you get you're getting storms uh and it's just really cool to me because what you end up uh seeing as this storm event goes on here uh and you can just see it you can just start seeing it right through here you can see that agitated cue starting up and you see out here in the Raton Mesa you're seeing a little bit of it too and I would keep an eye up here as well but you can see 
those little orphans that we talked about in the previous video. You can see them starting to take shape through here and up here too. You're seeing that. So what, what we're seeing uh, is storm attempts. They're, they're continuing all the way up into the panhandles now, all the way north out of this screen. Let me actually adjust this down a little bit. But you're seeing those uh, start up all the way up in here. And again, you have the Raton Mesa right out here. So what's happening is that these storms have taken shape now. Like here, here's a couple of storms that have formed off of this dry line. And you can just see, woo, that's pretty, that's pretty wild, right? That's pretty rapid. Uh, it's pretty explosive because it was a very explosive day. Uh, and here at the end of the loop, there's a couple of things I want to point out. Uh, we've talked about this many times uh, in different videos, and I've talked about this many times, but you can see the anvil spreading downwind from here. You can also see the trajectory of this these little levels are like this. This is good wind shear. You can tell that's a uh, good wind shear just right there. Just satellite. You don't need to know anything else. Just You don't have to look at anything else. You have good wind shear. And if you have surface obs too, you can kind of tell, like your generalized low-level flow. Surface is here. Uh, 850s are kind of like this. So you and you have up here in the upper levels, you have it like that. So you know you're turning like that, like like you don't need to see anything else. Like people, satellites important. And also the thing you can see uh, with this storm, uh, particularly at this point, huge overshooting top right here. And you're also seeing it start to do something very important and that's just Southeast. Uh, whenever you see a storm, a supercell, uh, in an environment like this, and you see the anvil spreading this way, but suddenly, so the upper winds are that way, the winds that would want to carry the storm are going that way, but the storm is suddenly moving this way, you know it's turned right, and you know it's very powerful. This is a powerful storm. So if you were, for instance, uh, let's roll this back a little bit. Let's roll this back to right about here. And you've got two storms forming. I mean, I'm just going to use the mouse cursor for these. And you also have this one up here. And, and let's say, for instance, you are setting uh, right here or so. You know, you're, you're, you're setting in this general area. You could get to this one, this one, and this one. Okay? So you're trying to assess. And you have, and let's just say the radar is down, but you're, you'd be using radar. But just, well, you're just looking at satellite. I've used satellite. So as you watch, initially what happens is it looks like, oh, these are about even. What happens oftentimes in storm chasing, especially as I always say, take the south storm, all else being equal. In this case, all else being equal. You have the north storm, it forms. These two are very robust. You're setting right here. It's, it's pretty much a tie. This one though, the difference, look at the anvil sizes, huge anvils. This one a lot smaller. This one's a lot weaker up here to the north. Very important to know. And as you look, as these form, this one up north suddenly disappears on satellite. And this one south goes absolutely gangbusters. And you can see it just starts diving south. This one eventually, it starts off really small, but eventually blows up, right? And it goes, starts, but it's moving a little bit east this one is blowing up and moving south. So in this situation, there's several things you could see in this radar loop already, right? The, we're just focused on a little area. We could go on and on about this. But in this case, it's pretty clear which storm you want to be on, right? And it is. This one is the one that produces the most severe weather on this day. So with that said, I hope I hope this simple tutorial was uh, something good because, again, we're going to do a lot of these little simple tutorials, look through a satellite loop, break it down, trying to do that on a couple of things Plus, these videos are kind of simple to make, and I really like doing it this way. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And remember, hey, that right up there, it says subscribe. Hit that button below to subscribe. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, etc. And well, remember, weather's for everybody. Satellite is a great way to keep up with it. And we'll see you next time.